Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another day with our devotional Everyday Faith. Today, we are talking about leadership some more. As I mentioned the other day, this is a transitional month, so some people are going to have different themed devotionals than what we're going over, but we're gonna switch themes every week. We're hitting some of the older themes that we, we've had in the past that we haven't actually done video devotions for, just mixing it up a little bit this month so that everyone has a little variety. But what I'm also going to do is send out a bonus devotional to everyone via email this week, just so that you guys have a little extra content as we as we transition to a much more kind of unified experience in April. Today's verse is something that we often hear at weddings and is often used to refer to romantic love, but its roots are really in leadership. And that verse is from 1 Corinthians chapter 13, and it is, love is patient. Now normally we hear this at weddings, Christian and non-Christian weddings, but we have to keep in mind the context here. When Paul wrote this, he was writing this to the, to the early church that was very divisive, there was a lot of competing factions and he was talking to them about unity. And the, the type of love that Paul's referring to is agape love. And in the early church, that was really a selfless concern for others. Remember how we talked about self-denying kindness yesterday? Very similar concept. So when he's talking to the early church, he's talking about unity. He's talking about how do you bring together all these different groups? How do you unite them for the glory of God? And Paul's advice in this verse is patience. Love is patient. This might be the thing that you struggle with the most. It's definitely something I struggle with. Being patient is not easy, especially in the time where we're all on our phones, we have Amazon Prime delivery bringing us anything we want in an hour sometimes, same day, how crazy is that? We're not patient and we have technology and all kinds of things that speed up time for us, that remove the need for patience in our life. So when we're dealing with, with individuals where we're maybe not on the same page or maybe they're even going through some tough times, it's hard for us to be patient. And it's a practice just like anything else. Just like you would go out and practice a specific skill, patience is something that you need to practice. And it's something as leaders and as Christians who lead every day by example, patience is a huge one. When things aren't going exactly how we planned, when people aren't meeting our expectations, when life throws us curveballs, frustration is one of the easiest emotions to feel and to take hold of us and let us get angry. But patience is a solution for that. And to be a great leader, you have to have patience because you're going to deal with those frustrations constantly. Paul is urging us to be patient when we're leading others. Leading takes time, progress takes time, and without patience, it's going to be really rare that we, we achieve the level that we want to achieve. How can you practice patience in your everyday life? Is it on your commute? Is it dealing with a coworker or employee? Or maybe it's dealing with family. Family requires a lot of patience sometimes. One of my tricks for having patience in those situations is empathy. I try to put myself in other people's shoes and realize that they might not be having a great day and we have no idea what they're going through. So it helps me to, to calm down and, and take a step back sometimes. Maybe try that. Or if you have any other great practices that aid in your own patience, let us know below in the comments. I'm sure we could all benefit from those and I would definitely appreciate it. Remember, we are all in this together and we will see you tomorrow.